crews have been working throughout the night to remove the smash cars that we're seeing here after blowing dust caused a pileup of crashes of more than 70 vehicles. Unbelievable. The deadly chain reaction happening on I-55 just south of Springfield. Our Charlie DeMar has been on the scene since shortly after it happened yesterday. He joins us live right now. Uh, you were driving straight through the night to get there. What, what's happening right now? And Ryan Audrina, good morning. What has really stood out about this scene is just the scale of it, the number of cars, the number of trucks, and the carnage caused by it all. We are just feet away from I-55 right now in an empty parking lot, and this is where a lot of the semi-trucks have been taken. This is sort of a junkyard uh, where crews are taking a lot of these damaged trucks. You can see the twisted metal, all of the broken glass here. Illinois State Police calling this a perfect storm of high winds and loose dirt from the surrounding farm fields that caused this deadly pileup. At least six people are dead. Nearly 40 people have been taken to area hospitals. This is bananas! Oh More than 70 vehicles were intertwined in this twisted mess along I-55. The crashing sand spanned about 20 miles in multiple counties from Sangamon to Montgomery. Both lanes of traffic coming to a complete standstill for hours. Now, truck driver Jim Phillips, he was in the middle of it. He says a U-Haul trailer went airborne into his truck and then other cars hit him from behind wreckage everywhere. Uh, people was driving and they slamming on the brakes and, and uh, just basically like a demolition derby. It was just devastation. It was just tragic. I, I've just never seen anything like that. And one of the first victims identified as 88-year-old Shirley Harper of Franklin, Wisconsin. Illinois State Police describing this similar to whiteout blizzard conditions. You really just could not see anything on that road. Again, for those injured, the injuries range from minor injuries to life-threatening, and the ages of those injured also range from two years old to 80 years old. We are reporting live in Montgomery County, Illinois. I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. All right, Charlie, thank you. To continue to get updates on this dust storm and the multi-car pileup that ensued, you can visit our website, cbschicago.com. You could also stream us on our CBS News Chicago app along with Pluto TV and through the CBS News app on Fire TV and Roku.